Hello and welcome to the Health Proxin channel. At Health Proxin, we provide you with tips and strategies on how to live and maintain a healthy lifestyle through proper diet and exercise. In today's presentation, we are going to look at the top three strategies for healthy weight loss. This presentation is one which you do not want to miss. But before we hop over to the presentation, please remember to like, comment and share this video and also subscribe to our channel for even more healthy videos. Let us now go to the presentation. Welcome to the presentation. In today's presentation, we are going to look at the top three strategies for healthy weight loss. A recent study identified three strategies that may be the key to losing excess pound and keeping them off. The results aren't really surprising, but they are worth repeating. Successful weight loss depends on choosing healthy foods, tracking what you eat, and changing your thinking. That's according to the researchers at California Polytechnic State University. They surveyed about 5,000 members of WW, formerly called Weight Watchers who lost an average of 50 pounds and kept it off for at least 3 years. If you are tired of dieting and gaining more weight, this may be the breakthrough you are looking for. You will now learn how to use 3 proven techniques to help you maintain your weight loss. Choosing healthy foods Number 1. Eat more fiber. Foods rich in dietary fiber help you to feel full so you may be satisfied while eating less. Smart choices include vegetables, fruits, and whole grains. Fiber also helps to stabilize your blood sugar level and lower cholesterol. Number two, cut back on sugar. Ex excess sugar consumption is a major cause of weight gain and food cravings. You can reduce your intake by avoiding ultra-processed foods and drink plenty of water instead of sweetened beverages. Number three, spice it up. Nutritious meals and snacks can be delicious if you are trying to use less salt. Cook with spices and herbs. Healthy fats like olive oil and cheese will also add a lot of flavor. Four, read labels. Check the back of cereal boxes to ensure that the ingredients match the advertising on the front. Nutrition labels reveal important information like calories, preserving, and how much sugar has been added. 5. Dine at home. Preparing your own foods puts you in charge of the cooking methods and ingredients. You are likely to use less sugar, salt, and saturated fat compared to most restaurants. Track what you eat. Keep a journal. It's easy to underestimate how many calories you really eat. A food journal can help you to record and evaluate your activities. You can also spot patterns like emotional eating and trigger foods that make you want to eat more. 2. Set daily goals. You can also use journal to create short and long term goals for your food intake and other factors. Putting your objectives down in writing will make them more concrete. 3. Major portions Do you know what a cup of popcorn or 4 ounces of fish look like? If weighing your food sounds too complicated, you can memorize easy equivalents, for example. One ounce of cheese is about the size of your thumb. Next we are going to look at developing coping skills. But before we go into that, let us just take a break and we'll be right back. Welcome back to the second part of this presentation and now we are going to look at developing coping skills which has five parts to it. Number one, know your purpose. Think about your main reason for losing weight. 
You may be concerned about your appearance or lowering your risk for diabetes and other medical conditions. Remember your purpose when you feel tempted to overindulge. Two, encourage yourself. Motivate yourself with positive self-talk and rewards. Build your confidence by reflecting on past achievements. Three, seek support. Surround yourself with family and friends you can count on for constructive feedback. Find a workout partner or join a weight loss support group. Four, manage stress. Lack of sleep and high levels of stress hormones can trigger weight again. Relax safely with physical exercise and mindfulness meditation. Five, deal with relapses. Holidays and business trips might set you back temporarily. Have a plan ready so you can recover quickly. The CPSU survey also found that wholesome choices become automatic with practice. So keeping weight off becomes easier over time. Forget about crash diets that leave you feeling deprived. Healthy eating and regular exercise will help you to stay lean and fit. I hope you did enjoy this presentation and I would just remind you to like, to subscribe and to comment on this video if you did enjoy the video. Thank you very much and see you in another video.